Hey guys, it's me, Pippa, and I'm back, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Battle Pass. It's about to end the current one, and I want to talk to you guys about what I want to see in the pass for the next one, some changes I think need to occur. And as you can see, I did not complete the Battle Pass, not because I couldn't, like, you, it was very completable. Nah, I just didn't care that much. Past a certain point, the rewards are mediocre for the free pass. You know, these are technically good things, but it's gear tier 15. I don't feel the need for gear tier 15 yet. And most of the the bulk of the XP you can gain each week, don't mind, I'm using Nox, so that's why there's a question. The bulk of the XP you could get each week are in these objectives right here, where it is right here, get the 225 knockouts, 350 knockouts, and 550 knockouts. The problem I have with that is, it's very tedious. <laughs> Essentially, that just comes down to, like that's way more battles than you would naturally fight just by trying to complete your daily milestones. So that would result in like I did that the first couple weeks, but after that I got I, I couldn't stay invested. It really doesn't matter if you auto running continuously battles. So I don't know. I, I um that's why I didn't complete the battle pass. I don't know if that's something could change because I guess you know if I bought the battle pass, maybe I'd care a little more. Maybe I'd be willing to tough it out and run those milestones. So you know it, mixed opinions on what they should change there. Something I think they definitely should change and I, they will change is you could get quests to use abilities with characters you didn't know. Like I got Dr. Octopus one week, I do not have Dr. Octopus. They said they'd fix it for the next battle pass. Why they couldn't fix it for the current battle pass? Like it's it's, a, it's an if, if then statement. If don't have Dr. Octopus, then don't give Dr. Octopus quests. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess they could fix it this battle pass. Too late, it's launched, we can't stop it. So whatever, that's um, it is what it is. Overall, uh, I thought the quest system. My dog has awoken. You can't. You can't see her right there. My, my dog has awoken. Uh, overall, I thought the quest system wasn't too bad. Not that exciting. I think they probably could have done a little more. Like maybe use specific abilities with characters, or maybe use certain characters together. It's kind of boring because essentially what this boils down to: use abilities, War Machine, Crossbones, and Hydra. I'd build a team with Hydra. I'd put Crossbones and War Machine on it. I'd set it on auto, hope for the best. It's smart that they have use abilities, not get kills, because no matter how bad the matchmaking is, theoretically, you could at least get one ability off. So I'm happy they don't have get kills with certain characters because that would get painful, especially right turn order. You know, say you said get kills with crossbones. You got to set it up so crossbones can get the final hit, which is hard because he's a tank. So it's smart that they have use abilities, but I wouldn't mind if maybe they went a little deeper where they said like maybe use characters from three plus affiliations at once or something like that. You know, like I think there's some wacky stuff they could do here. I think it'd be cool if they really maybe themed each week and they had like these crazy like use Captain America and it'd be like a blue week use Captain America Minerva and Ronan on a team or something like that or I don't know maybe a little more thought going into these missions there's a little like okay I'll just auto a mission with war machine and crossbones five times so another thing I think they could look into is matchmaking it's something they've mentioned but it's definitely better it's better right now than it was when the game first launched well this this mode first launched you know when it first launched 100k power difference was frequent you'd get stomped or you would stomp the enemy so that has been fixed right there it's still not great there's an occasional battle where i have more or less power but i think the thing they need to look even deeper on is team composition since this game is so restrictive in terms of tags, you lose against the cookie cutter team when you're like, say right there when I'm trying to go for the War Machine, Skull, Red, or the Hydra, and the Crossbones team, I would lose against an Asgardian team, or I would lose against an X-Force team, or I would lose against a Inhuman team. That's the nature of the game right now with cookie cutter teams. So I don't know, that's something maybe they could consider, you know, how many different tags do you have on your team? Maybe that could go into the matchmaking a little bit because the more tags you have, generally the worst you would perform in a battle unfortunately i'm interested to see what this event is right here this did not come out this battle pass leagues like maybe this would result in some more rewards maybe more points would be obtainable through these i don't know i i haven't heard anything about what these things are they could be like alliance war uh room boosts and those will never come out of the game they said coming soon for years maybe these are just here and they'll never come but who knows so what else is there to think about for the next battle pass Next up, I want to talk a little bit about the rewards in the Battle Pass. I think purple training materials, those should be gold. I, I honestly think purple training materials, that's not valuable. That's, that's embarrassing. Those should be gold. 
end of story right there i think also i think in terms of gear they give out not bad i think it's a nice little boost if you don't buy the premium and of course it's a pretty decent boost if you buy the premium version of the battle pass something else i think i'd like to see is some gold on here and some purple and gold ability materials i think those are things people do need i think it'd be nice to see them on the battle pass especially on the free end like i don't know if gear tier 15 materials are i think you isolate a lot of beginning players even mid game players you, you know i understand you want to build up the gear tier 15 materials because eventually you will need to run dark dimension 4 but it is I don't know, it's not fun to build up gear tier 15 materials, especially if you're nowhere close. I think they need a little bit more to account for mid-game players. I also think these gold and silver promotion credits they have on the battle pass should be way more. I don't know why they're bottlenecking silver uh, red star promotion credits still. Those should be way more obtainable. I mean, look at that. There's only one drop there, and I think there's another drop earlier in the battle pass. I think you get roughly 20 of those silver promotion credits right there, which I think is nowhere near enough I, you should be getting hundreds i don't know why they're giving out so little of that right now the character that's something that's really what we have to keep an eye on for the next battle pass is what character they put in because there's 45 character shards on the free end and what's nice is you didn't have to max out the battle pass to get all those shards as you can see i got to level 72 there's no more Zemo shards I'm missing out on right here so that's good that you don't have to max out the battle pass for the character shard because don't tell Fox next, but I, I kind of feel like the character shards are one of the best things in the battle pass. I think Baron Zemo was a nice pick. I hope his Baron Zemo becomes farmable sometime soon. But this battle pass was a nice way to get a head start if you wanted to, to farm out Baron Zemo. You know, he's a good character. If you wanted him, you could buy the battle pass, get a couple extra shards for him. If you didn't buy the battle pass, it was a nice boost to your current Baron Zemo, which I think is nice. You know, if they want to keep throwing characters that are in this realm of, the, you know, in between when they become farmable and when they first release, you know, there's this there's this gray area of they're not farmable, you can't get them, no real offers for them. You know, I don't mind if maybe they throw a character into the battle pass in between those time periods to unlock them. Something else I don't mind is if we go over to the character roster right here, we had a awful lot of characters that are 100 shards shard unlocks and 45 we had six characters come out half of them were 45 shard half of them were 100 shard unlocks i think some people are thinking beast is going to be the next one to come to the battle pass and he's going to be uh, the, like the next character because we everyone got the red stars from the new event i don't think beast feels like a blitz star character like i don't know blitz or beast just doesn't feel that valuable to go in the battle pass my fear is either Iceman or Kitty Pride are going to end up in this battle pass right here. I really, you know, we know Yelena's getting a blitz real soon. Red Guardian's coming out through his Red Winter event. Haven't heard anything about Kitty Pride or Iceman about any of their blitzes or anything like that. I really fear one of them will go in the battle pass. Now, if Kitty Pride goes in there, then that's great because you can unlock Kitty Pride for free. No complaints right there. As a free-to-play player, I think the concern is, do you get to unlock the character? As long as you unlock the character, I go home happy. I, I don't care what star rank they are, as long as you get to unlock them. What the problem is, though, is I, I really feel like they might end up putting Iceman in the battle pass. And if they do that, that'll be the first time in this game's history a character is truly paywalled. Because you cannot get the battle pass with in-game currency. You'd have to spend $20 to unlock Iceman. That's a bit of a, you know, that's, that's a bit of a, we're kind of crossing a line there. We're kind, of, we're kind of moving into Marvel Future Bank territory right there. That's something, that's the big fear going to the next Battle Pass is that someday Fox and X will put a 100 shard unlock character in here. And that way you cannot unlock them unless you purchase the premium version of the Battle Pass. So that is probably the most important thing to keep an eye on for the next Battle Pass. What character do they put in here? As long as they keep on characters like Baron Zemo or maybe Beast or Cull Obsidian that are nice, not quite obtainable, I don't mind if they're in the battle pass. I don't like the battle pass as a release method, so that's something I'm going to be keeping a close eye on, and you will be hearing from me if Iceman does end up in this next battle pass right here. I think finally, what I want to talk about is the cost of the premium battle pass. It doesn't look like you can buy... I don't know if you can buy it towards the end. I feel like I remember reading somewhere that you could only buy it for like the first 20 days or something like that. Maybe you can't buy it anymore, but it doesn't matter because it was $20 for the, for the normal version, or you could spend $40 and get a boosted version to sort of complete the first three levels never buy the boosted version if you're in a position where you're considering buying a battle pass for a game and it's twenty dollars you probably care enough about the game that you will complete all the missions 
twenty dollars for the battle pass is too much this is what i think needs to happen i think either ten dollars a real money or twenty dollars in cores you have the option to purchase it because the problem is cores are you get them too easily you know ten dollars is somewhere in the realm of a thousand cores so very obtainable as a free-to-play player they give out a lot of cores in this game especially if you're placing well in arena you're gonna play your daily milestones you're not spending them on energy refreshes it'd be very easy to save up in preparation for the next battle pass so that is a problem i think they're running into right here another thing is people are buying the battle pass for 20 dollars. you know everyone who spends money on the game bought the battle pass for 20 dollars. you know everyone who who is a dolphin well i even consider 20 dollars a month past dolphin territory really if you ask me but i uh, i like any the whales they, they picked up the 20 dollar battle pass so i i don't quite see why they would change the price because pe same reason for the refreshes on stores there are people out there who will complain on the subreddit i i've been buying five refreshes for the past five days every uh, and, and i can't get the character <laughs> that's why they have it there because you are spending your course on that so pe people bought the battle pass and uh, and especially if they put a character like Iceman in here, I think you'd only have more people buying the Battle Pass, unfortunately. I don't see any reason why they would change it. I think ethically, I think the Battle Pass should be Power Cores. I don't know any good game <laughs> that does not make the Battle Pass purchasable with in-game premium currency. Fortnite does it. Call of Duty does it. Brawl Stars does it. You know, these pretty successful games, very well made in my opinion, they, they allow you to purchase the the battle pass with premium currency future fight does not not a good game don't like future fight i think it's a money grabbing game they don't let you purchase it with in-game currency i really think strike force needs to give you the option to purchase it with in-game currency now how much they'd make that worth i really think you can't make it worth more than 20 dollars in premium cores now people are going to say oh that's too, not enough premium cores uh, too bad i'll say this again fox next made this economy you reap what you sow Fox next <laughs> didn't manage the power core economy well premium ores are garbage so nobody spends their power cores on anything they stay in this little this little bank right here you the most you'll do with them is spend them on energy refreshes they give out enough that you can continuously buy energy refreshes pretty much and earn that back maybe as long as you take a couple of day breaks on um, you know spending all your power cores on energy refreshes you get to make back everything each month I think maybe if Fox Next had these premium ores a good deal, or maybe they had a couple more good deals rolling into the store, maybe people would be buying power cores and it wouldn't be just everyone saves power cores for the battle pass because that's the problem right now. No matter what cost they set the battle pass at, people would just save for the battle pass because everything else in this game is such garbage to buy with power cores. So I, I think it's a little symptomatic of a bigger problem in the game. But regardless, I, I don't think that's a reason to not give people the option to purchase the battle pass. So in conclusion, I think a couple of things need to be changed with the rewards, purple trade materials to gold trade materials. I think we need gold in the battle pass and I think we need purple and gold ability materials in the battle pass. And I also think you need to be careful what character we put in here. If you're gonna have a new character unlockable from here, make them a 45 shard unlock. Very scary the fact that they could put a 100 shard unlock and the fact that the, you know, the bulk majority of the community would probably just be okay with that. They'd probably just spend the $20 and call it a day that's a big no-no making a character lock behind a set paywall so that's scary right there i think finally there needs to be a power cord option for the battle pass you know some people are going to say not realistic for fox next it should be realistic that's the reason why it should be it, it should be realistic there's no reason why that shouldn't be realistic fox next needs to look into that as to why they cannot have power cores purchasable for the battle pass with that being said at the end of the day what do i know because i am only 19 year old who has purchased multiple battle passes across an assortment of games throughout my childhood i hope everyone can have a happy and healthy day and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm not everyone